Here's exactly how to handle errors in Python. Let's say you have a program that asks the user to enter a number and then shows the multiplication table for that number. After that, some other important code is also there. Now, when we run the program and enter a number, it works perfectly. It shows the multiplication table and the rest of the code runs just as expected. But what if we enter something random instead of a number? Let's say I type Alex. This time, the program crashes and shows an error. Even worse, the rest of the code doesn't run at all. That's a problem. To handle situations like this, Python gives us something called the try and accept block. It helps us catch errors and prevent our program from crashing. Here's how it works. You start with the word try and write your main code under it. In this case, the multiplication part. Then you add accept and write what should happen if there's an error. For example, we can show a message like please enter a valid number. Now when I run the program and enter a number, it works as usual. But if I enter something that's not a number, the program doesn't crash anymore. Instead, it shows the message from the accept block and the rest of the important code still runs. Just like that, the error is handled. In this case, the error we caught is called a value error. But there are many other types of errors in Python, like syntax error, indentation error, name error, and more. If you want to learn about all the common Python errors, check out our post where we explain each one in simple words.